Today we're going to talk about taking ownership. And this is the most important thing you can do when you're trying to make a change in your life. Because the alternative to taking ownership is letting other people control what happens and what the outcome of your life is. And that is no way to enact change because you don't have control over the parameters you need to adjust. So the number one thing you need to understand is that you can no longer blame people when you're taking ownership. You can't shift responsibility. You can't deny that things happen. You can't blame other people for what they did and look to them as though it's their fault. You have to take responsibility. And this means you're responsible for the good things and the bad things. So if something goes well and you see a change and you lose the weight, it's your fault. But if you don't lose the weight and you gain weight or whatever the outcome is, that's also your fault. So you have to understand that at the end of the day, the buck stops with you and it's up to you to make the changes to get the outcome you want. The reality is that when you blame other people, you're giving up control for what happened. It doesn't matter if your partner doesn't want to eat the same diet as you or your kid keeps you up late or, or you were busy at work and didn't go and work out. Those are all decisions you made. And when you blame somebody or something else, you lose control over what happens to your life. And the number one thing that causes anxiety and stress is a loss of control. So if you want to calm down the stress and anxiety, you have to start to take back control. And that means taking responsibility and not blaming other people for what happened. Anyone can make excuses. Excuses are everywhere. But few people can make better decisions. So the question is, are you going to be amongst those people that make better decisions, that takes feedback and says, this didn't work well, so let me make a better decision? Or you're going to sit there and just be complacent and continue to slide backwards and not see the results you want because you're too busy blaming other people for what did or didn't happen in your life. One important thing to remember is that a decision is not qualified based on its outcome. Just because you made a good decision doesn't mean it will have a positive outcome. And just because you made a bad decision doesn't mean it's going to have a negative outcome. You can go steal a bunch of money and not get caught and have a good outcome, but it was still a bad decision. If you make the decision to go and shop at a food store and eat better food and make food for yourself, but then you get food poisoning because you undercooked it, that doesn't mean that the decision to eat better and make your own food was not a good decision. If you make the decision to stop drinking, but then you have a headache the next day and a withdrawal, that doesn't mean that the decision to stop drinking was a bad decision. If you make your decision to no longer have snack food or junk food in the house and the kids get mad at you and yell at you and call you names because they took the sugar away, that doesn't make it a bad decision. So understand that you can't rely on the outcome to give you the feedback as to whether it was a good decision or not, both good and bad decisions. You have to understand what the decision you're making is ahead of time and know why you're making it and be able to stick to it that way. And another thing that will help frame this is to understand that there are no failures in life. The only failure is not learning a lesson. That just means you're going to have to learn that lesson again the next time you make that mistake. When you make a bad decision or something doesn't work out the way you want, understand that that is an opportunity for a learning lesson. If you do a four week diet and you don't lose the weight, that's an opportunity to learn what didn't work and try again better the next time. So don't get caught up in the emotional reaction that happens when you get feedback from something, but instead think bigger. Think about the long-term goal. Think about what you're working toward and why it's important to you. Take ownership of that decision, make it, and don't worry about the repercussions. If it's the wrong decision, you can course correct and keep moving forward. But indecision and not making decision is always the wrong decision. So take ownership, take responsibility, and move forward knowing why you're doing it and why it's important to you.